Google has released a brand new spatial audio SDK called Resonance Audio. This is a cool, quick little uh, intro video to show some of the features from Resonance Audio. I'm going to put a link to this video into the description if you want to check that out. I also have the developer guide for Resonance Audio. And I have the Resonance Audio SDK for Unity version 1.0 from GitHub. I've downloaded the Unity package and now I've imported that into Unity 2017. 2017 is required. I tried it in Unity 5.6.4 and it didn't work because it does require some uh, ambisonic uh, support that's only in 2017. So we can see in the demo here how the audio reacts to the different environments. And over here in the cave. So this is all set up and working because there are these reverb probes. Some of them are spheres, some of them are cubes. But once you have your reverb probes set up, you then go to the Renaissance Audio Reverb Baking. You can assign different types of audio surfaces to your materials. Put your reverb probes into place and then bake the reverb. So we'll take an in-depth look at this in part two of the video series. That's coming up next. Um, and in this first part, we're going to look take a look at the more basic setup, which is when you use a resonance audio room. And in the resonance audio room, you uh, set up different surface materials for the six different walls. And so that's how this room is set up. I'm going to go ahead and make a new scene so that we're starting from scratch and going through the resonance audio documentation here. After we've imported the unity package, we're going to go to edit project settings audio and set up the spatializer plugin to resonance audio and the ambisonic decoder plugin to resonance audio. And once we've done that, we're ready to attach the resonance audio listener. This normally would go to the main camera where the audio listener is recorded. So we want to attach a resonance audio listener. That's an extension of the Unity audio listener. And it, of course, adds support for the resonance audio. You have a global volume control there. And you could set up the occlusion mask as well as a few other parameters. Now we need to add an audio source. So I'm going to just create an empty game object. I'll put it at 000. That should be pretty close to the player. And then we'll add a new component, Resonance Audio Source. That is going to add a Unity Audio Source. And to set the Unity Audio Source up correctly, we should set the output to the master bus of the Renaissance Audio. So I'm going to select the master here. And we can see that's the master of the Resonance. Did I say Renaissance? Resonance Audio Mixer. And then we need to set the spatial blend to 3D. So I'm going to drag the spatial blend all the way up to 3D. And I'm going to enable the spatialized checkbox. And note that this checkbox is only visible when you've configured your project to use Resonance Audio Spatializer plugin. So I'm going to select Spatialize. And now we have set up our audio. I'm going to add a clip. How about this clap sound? And I'm going to tell it to loop, and let's see if this is working. All right, it definitely is. The next component we're going to take a look at is the res resonance audio room. Now, if you are, if you want to use the Anabiosonic file, the ACNS in 3D format you can import those and set those up and your audio source can use that. We're going to add an audio room now. So we're going to create another new game object. And this one, I'm going to add a component in resonance audio room. And this game object, we could 
make the size bigger or we could scale it with the transform and I'm gonna put this up to zero 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 and move it all the way over the player so the players inside of this room and we can set up different surface materials for the different walls floor and ceiling the reflectivity and the reverb and once that's set up we could hit play and we can hear how that reverb is affecting the player now if the player moves outside of the room the reverb effect of course it just goes away now if you want to see a demo of this setup check out the resonance audio demo and this is the same exact setup we have a player with the main camera with an audio listener the resonance audio listener we have a cube that has an audio source with the resonance audio source and the room which has the resonance audio room set up onto it <laughs> that's how that demo is working and when we go forward in the developer guide the next the next thing that we're gonna run into is reverb baking so that's gonna come up in the next video there's a lot to cover under the reverb baking section here so we're gonna do that and then in a video of its own and that's how this scene is set up all right well if this video has helped you out give it a like and stay tuned for the next video.